Hello everyone. Uh, yeah, this is Emmanuel. Welcome so much for this uh, lesson. Uh, now, I thought it wise that I, I show you how you can play because majority of uh, my friends, they do use the key of F sharp. I saw it twice that I show you how to play the F sharp major scale. How to play the F sharp major scale. As in the fingering position, how you can play it correctly. Yeah, so I'm going to show you uh, that thing. Uh, right hand and also the left hand. How you can play the F sharp major scale correctly. Sometimes you can find somebody is uh, too fast playing, uh, somebody is playing uh, the, the, the scale or somebody is playing the F sharp chords very fast and you wonder what the secret behind that. So the first thing is that this person knows the F sharp major scale numbering, as in the finger numbering. He knows it very well. He or she knows it very well. So I, I saw it twice that I also show you how you can play the F sharp major scale correctly with the fingering position. So let me start with the right hand. So this is the F sharp scale. So that is the F sharp scale. I have a F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, a B, C sharp, D sharp, F, and F sharp. So I'm going to show you how you can play uh, the scale. So the first, uh, you have to know that we have a two. The first thing that you, you have to note is that we have the F sharp scale has two white keys. That is the B and the F. So not B and not F are the white keys in the F sharp major scale. So the white, the white notes or the white keys, that is B and F, we play them using the thumb. So this is the thumb. You play them using the thumb. You play them using the thumb. And then <clears throat> the rest of uh, the keys, that is the black keys. So we have, we, have, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. The remaining six keys, we play them using finger one, two, and finger number three. So that means the scale of F sharp, the scale of F sharp, we play it using these four fingers. That is the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, and the second last finger. These four fingers. You play them using these four fingers. So let me show you. Uh, number one, two, and three, you play them using the index finger, the middle finger, and the second last finger. So this is how you're supposed to play it. Those three fingers. Let me hide the other finger so that you can see. So do, re, mi. So do, re, mi, you play with the index finger. Um, the middle finger and the second last finger. So, and make sure when you are playing the scale, don't don't hit the keys from this point. You hit them from this point, so so that it can come out so clear. Because when you when you press at the top, some uh, the key reduces its uh, its nature. Like the volume is becoming so low on the keys. So you have to press them from this point. So do re mi, do re mi, do re mi, do re mi. So we've said uh, the the white the white keys. Sorry, the white keys. We are playing them using the, in, the using the thumb. Using the thumb. That is finger number one. So uh, do re mi fa. That way. So do re. That way, that way, that way. Yeah, it's very easy, by the way. And you'll enjoy playing it when you get used to it. So, do, re, mi, fa. Yeah, you play that with the thumb. Number four, you play with the thumb. So, do, re, mi, fa. And then when you reach at fa, a uh, so, you'll play with uh, number five and six, you play them with the index finger and the middle finger. So, we are going to play this way. you can see. So.
So we've said the other white key we also played using the thumb, so. That way. So just start uh, slowly. And then the last one, the last one is like the pattern is repeating itself. So the last one, that is the eight, or the, the F sharp. You play it using the index finger, using the index finger, because the pattern is repeating itself. Let me show you from this point so that you get it. Okay. Yeah, be accurate. Also be accurate. Yeah, so that is going uh, upwards or ascending. So this is ascending and this is descending. So you also need to practice in descending nature. Ascending and also descending nature. Yeah, so let me start uh, with the ascending and then I'll come back. When you are coming back also, the fingering position remains the same. Let me show you. Yeah. Yeah, so that is on your right hand. Then on your left hand, on your left hand, you are going to, uh, these three fingers, that is, these three fingers will play the opposite of what the right finger is playing. So, because this one you are placing it that way, the left finger, you'll start with uh, the, last, the last finger here, that is the middle, uh, the second last, sorry, will come to be as the first in the left hand. So you'll start with the second last finger, the middle finger, uh, the index finger, and then the thumb, and then the middle finger, index finger, thumb, then the index and then uh, yeah 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 and then this one this one will come to be as the last the last one the second last finger then you'll come back so ascending and descending ascending and descending Try playing it uh, both hands. Sorry. that it might seem to be a very foolish thing but it will really enhance your playing in the key of in the key of F sharp in the key of F sharp uh, uh, most of you have been asking me what's the secret behind my playing in the key of F sharp but you just need to master the small things the basic small things that build the key of F sharp or G flat so practice doing the scale remember speed comes after accuracy just practice with your speed first. And then when you become accurate, now you add the speed. Uh, when you become accurate, now you add the speed. the next lesson remember to subscribe if you are new hit the notification bell next time i post a tutorial you'll be the first person to be notified see you in the next lesson